Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. I have two batteries in my hands, uh, very similar looking, but one is for the Phantom 4 Pro and one is for the Phantom 4, the original. I'm gonna see if the Phantom 4 original battery will work in the Phantom 4 Pro, so stay tuned and let's check it out. Okay, so I got my Phantom 4 Pro just recently, been flying it quite a bit, very excited. It's, um, it's pretty amazing, it's uh, very stable. I I'm doing some videos on it, so go check those out. But in the meantime, uh, I have been wondering two things. Will the props work from the original Phantom 4 on the Phantom 4 Pro? The answer is yes. I have interchanged them, they work just fine. Same system, same props. So if you have a bunch of spare Phantom 4 props and you're planning on getting a Pro, you're in luck. But will the batteries work? So the batteries are almost identical. Um, the older battery has a gray label. The newer battery has a white label. The older battery is a 5350 milliamp, 15.2, I guess that would be a 4S uh, battery, 15.2 volts. Um, the new one is a 15.2 4S battery, but it is 5870 milliamp hours. So this one's 5350, this one's 5870 milliamp hours. So now what are milliamp hours? Um, as I understand it, milliamp hours are basically like fuel in your tank. It's how much capacity the battery holds, therefore how long it will fly. And that's how they're getting a longer flight time, I believe, out of the uh, newer battery, the new uh, Phantom 4 Pro. So I know with a racing quads, you can kind of mix and match different batteries and different quads depending on how the flight controller is set up and, and uh, some other factors. I mean, I've used um, 800 milliamp hour batteries and 1500 and 2000 milliamp hour batteries all in the same quad and they all seem to work fine as long as it's the right S rating, um, you know, like a 3S or a 4S. So these are the same in terms of volts or the S rating. It's just that milliamp hour. So what we're gonna do, um, I suspect it's going to work just fine. Um, I just suspect we won't get quite as long of a flight time using the old battery in the um, newer quad. Now the other thing I was going to say uh, from a sort of safety and equipment perspective, I feel like, I could be wrong, I'm sure I'll get comments on this, but I feel like using a uh, slightly lower milliamp hour battery in, a, in the Phantom 4 Pro is going to be okay because um, we're not over taxing it in any way. Whereas using the slightly higher milliamp hour battery in the old Phantom 4 may work, but it may do something to your ESCs or something like that. Um, I might try it and see if it works, but for now, um, if you're upgrading to a Phantom 4 uh, Pro, then you're gonna wanna know if your Phantom 4 batteries will work. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Um, I've got my uh, Phantom 4 Pro battery, the one with the uh, 5870 milliamp hours and um, I'm gonna set it aside and come back with the old battery from my Phantom 4, um, which again is the 5350 milliamp hours, uh, 5.2 4S battery. So I'm gonna plug it in. I know it fits because I've already tried this. So plug it in there and it uh, fits like a glove. Just goes right into the slot, just like the other battery does. Um, you can see this one's fully charged. I don't know if you can see because it's so bright out right now but it is fully charged. So I'm gonna set it down and uh, let's see if it takes off. It says it's updating the firmware um, here on the screen. I wish I had another camera going, but uh, right down there it says updating firmware, 47%. I guess you don't need an internet connection for that because this is not connected to the internet, but um, it says it's updating. So let's see what happens. Okay, my screen just went blank. So it's Phantom 4 Pro connected, updating 75%. Just beeped again. All right, it says update success, go fly. So let's check it out. Take off. Okay, the motor's fired up. It's gonna kill him real quick because you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set a timer and see how much flight time we get on this. Just gonna fly it around at a normal clip, um, but I'm just gonna set my timer on my phone. Actually, stopwatch, reset, go. Actually, stop and start. All right, now it's going.
Okay, so with the Phantom 4 battery, the Phantom 4 Pro flew about 24 minutes. Um, I know it's uh, actually set to fly more uh, time with the uh, Pro battery, but that's pretty good for the um, other battery. I'm gonna check the health of the battery in the app and uh, make sure everything looks like it should as far as the uh, voltage and such. But um, from what I can tell, you can fly the Phantom 4 Pro with the Phantom 4 battery. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more drone videos, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone.